G'day guys, it's Dave Tran here and welcome to another Guitar Zero to Hero song tutorial. And in this lesson, I'll be teaching you an acoustic version of Never Be Like You by Flume. Now this is an awesome song by an Australian DJ slash producer. So if you don't know it, give it a spin because it's a really great song. Alright, so for the basics you'll need your guitar in standard tuning and you'll need a capo on the 5th fret. Now there's 3 chords that you'll need to know for the whole song. They are G. But for this particular G shape, I recommend not pushing down on that 3rd fret relative to the capo on the 2nd string. Leave that one open. And then we have an A minor 7. And then we have a C. And that's it for this song in terms of chords, nice and simple. Now in this acoustic rendition that I'll be showing you, I'm just using my fingers to pick and strum. So for the verse, we have those three chords in that order. We have the G, A minor seven, and the C. However, we'll be playing a picking pattern here. Now for the picking pattern, you wanna designate these two fingers to some particular strings, all right? So the index finger will always be plucking the third string, and the middle finger will always be plucking the second string. So make sure they stay where they are there. For the 6th, 5th and 4th string here, you're just going to be playing that with your thumb. So your thumb can move around, but these two fingers shouldn't. So the picking pattern is going to be based off those three chords. Now for the first one, which is the G, you're only going to be hitting that top bass note. So in reality, you don't need to play that full G shape with your fretting hand. As long as you're just hitting that 3rd fret relative to the capo on that 6th string, you're good to go. So this particular picking pattern will be used for each of the chord shapes. So for the first one, the G, what we have is we hit the bass note, then we go to the third string, and then we play the fourth string, and then the second string. Like that. Now that's the first half of the picking pattern that will replicate for each chord. So bass note, third, fourth, second. So that's the first half. Now the second half of the picking pattern is exactly the same, except the last note is different. We go bass note, third, fourth, and then third again. So the first half of the picking pattern, and the second half, and both together, and one more time. And that's the picking pattern that is used for each chord. Now that picking pattern is used once on this G chord, once on the A minor 7 chord, and then twice on the C chord. So with the A minor 7 chord, the bass note is no longer on the 6th string, it's now on the 5th string. So it sounds like this. But all the other strings are exactly the same. So bass note, 3rd, 4th, 2nd, and then bass note, 3rd, 4th, 3rd, and all together. And for the C chord, we do the exact same thing, but just twice now. And the bass note is still on the 5th string. And that's it for the verse picking pattern. I'll play that through one more time for you. Now I'll just play that at 75% speed and 100% speed and I'll have a close up of my picking hand so you can see exactly what I'm doing. So that's it for the verse. Now we get to the chorus and it's those exact same three chords. G, 
A minor 7 and C. Now the strumming pattern is going to go down, up, down, up, slap, down, up. Again, down, up, down, up, slap, down, up. And it's succession, down, up, down, up, slap, down, up, down, up, down, up, slap, down, up. Now that slap is going to be more or less a down strum, but you need to mute all the strings and make sure you're not holding anything down so you get that slap sound. So that strumming pattern is played once for the G, once for the A minor seven, and twice for the C. So in total, it should sound like this. And that's it, nice and easy. Now the last thing we need to learn is just the bridge. And the bridge is simply, again, three chords. It's C, then G, and then A minor seven. Now the strumming pattern for this is gonna be a simple down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up. And together with the chords, it's gonna sound like this. And that's everything for Flume's Never Be Like You. Now I'm going to be playing the verse, chorus and bridge. And I'm going to have my good friend Beck sing on top of it for some context. So make sure you play along and see how you go. And that's it for Never Be Like You by Flume. If you want to check out the full acoustic cover that my friend Beck has done, then check out the video here. Hope the Aussies out there have enjoyed this tutorial. And if you're from elsewhere in the world, then make sure you check out the track anyway, because it's a great electronic song. So if you enjoyed and you want to see more in the future, then please make sure you hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, leave your thoughts, comments, and questions below. And I'll see you next time on Guitar Zero to Hero. Cheers. Now I put a lot of time and effort into recording these videos editing these videos, annotating them, putting the tabs in so that you guys get the best learning experience and I'm putting out some of the best guitar lessons out there on YouTube. In the description, I've put a list of the gear that I use and highly recommend. Stuff like picks, strings, capos, tuners, the guitars that I use are in the description. If you want to support what I do and keep these videos coming, then please check out the gear list below. For everything you buy, I make a small percentage of that sale at no extra cost to you. Amazon's prices are really great as well, so you'll find some bargains there. I'll see you next time. Cheers.